It's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. We're here at Expona 2023, and we're here with Nillen and Michaela. Yes, both of you guys are engineers. Yep. And um, see you walking around here at Expona. We are talking about the issue of diversity, age, gender, race here. I just wondered if you guys had any thoughts on that. So definitely being an electrical engineer um, and presenting female, you definitely you stand out for sure. Um, so definitely, especially here at Expona, I've gone into many booths and been seen as either a girlfriend or a wife or any number of any other things. And then their faces light up as soon as I tell them, oh, I'm an electrical engineer. And their attitude completely changes, thankfully. Um, so in a lot of situations, suddenly they, they're a lot more open to talking. They're a lot more open to being interested in my opinion and interested in what I have to say about products. And, and Mikhail, I, I assume a similar situation there. Would it help if you guys wore like a sign or a shirt that said engineer, <laughs> take me seriously? I mean, what does it take? <laughs> Probably. You know? I notice a lot of people definitely get more excited once they find out we're in engineering. So, yeah, I can definitely get along with that, yeah. The assumption is what? I just wonder what, like, I don't know. What? Why can't they just be like, oh, what are you guys? I don't know. I think it still is stereotypical older white men that are in the field. So, yeah, yeah, they still haven't warmed up to the fact that women are getting more interested in engineering. Yeah. yeah. Now, go ahead. Yeah, and definitely just add women in audio especially. Yeah. It's it's a very heavily male-dominated field and I've worked in theatrical audio and live audio as well. Right, right. So, that kind of background to it all, you work with a lot of men all day long right. and as soon as they see that you can still run a soundboard, lift speakers, hang line arrays just as well as anyone else, yeah. they, they start taking you a lot more seriously, but you kind of have to show that you know what you're doing. Right. So I want to ask about that. What has worked in your field? Because you obviously got a job, you're working, you know, somebody took a chance on you just like everyone else. What do you think? Do you have mentors? Do you have people you work with? I mean, what has worked for you guys in your field? So I don't come from an audio background per se, but I definitely had a mentor in my previous role and he helped me to really stand out, don't be shy, speak up, like really come forward and present myself. And that has really helped me a lot. But it was a guy, it wasn't a woman. It was a guy, yes. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys part of any women's groups or because there's a lot of online like women in technology groups or stuff like that? I've been a part of Sound Girls in the past, but I haven't heavily participated in any actively lately. And is there anything you would recommend? Because we're looking for solutions here. Even us white guys who are the gatekeepers who want to be allies and want to do something, what should we do? What would you guys recommend that we do? I think a lot of it just comes down to being able to open up and listen to people and respect that people have a lot more background and information to, than they may give off at first. Right. So being, being willing to kind of hear beyond just, oh, you appear to be a woman, I don't know that you necessarily know that much about this industry or that field. Yeah. So understanding that anyone can know anything and you might be very surprised by who knows what. Right, right. Any suggestions, anything that you've seen that's worked, organizations or techniques or just ways people are doing it that makes sense? Just don't be quiet really just kind of get out there and don't be afraid to say your opinion and okay. speak up right. and just really don't stand in the back of the room and don't say anything you, you want to definitely you know be more outspoken so I think it's interesting that you're asking women not to be shy right um, and maybe not to stay in their comfort zone because a lot of people that's just how they are men as well but in order to be successful you're saying no you really can't do that you have to come out of that zone and and push things yes definitely so whenever I was in college I was in kind of a small group that was meant to help prepare women in engineering for going out into the engineering world and one of the biggest things that they talked about was the need for women to be more outspoken and one of the biggest things I remember from that was don't apologize one of the first things that women want to do is apologize oh I'm sorry guys don't really do that so much so that's something that I'm, I'm like more conscious of now because of it oh, that's, that, see that's good to hear so and this is women coaching other women as well in terms of what works and what has worked right yes anything Nilan, that you've come across that you would recommend or that worked with you Definitely what's always worked for me is being able to tell a unique story, being able to have some sort of interesting background, something different to you, whether it be something right off the bat like cool earrings or 
interesting background in terms of projects, being able to just kind of hit off that initial part really gets a conversation moving beyond, oh, your gender or anything else, your age, whatever my else may be right off the bat. Yeah, and I'm going to say, you've got colored hair, interesting hair, right? You guys <laughs> are working this angle as we speak, right? That's kind of a thing. Stand out, be a little different. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It definitely goes noticed. <laughs> I do it with my shoes, with my silly beanie hat, you know. I mean, I'm doing the same thing you guys are talking about. Yeah. So, listen, thank you guys so much, Michaela and Neil, for, for, Nilan, for talking with us and taking time out of your busy day here at Expona. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for looking into diversity. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. We're here at Expona 2023.